come into the association of hair loss with diabetes. We all know that diabetes are two types. One is uh, insulin dependent, that is uh, type one, and another is insulin independent, that is type two. Those people who are uh, bulky, who are plump, who are uh, overweight, there, that is the type two diabetes. There, what happens is the patient can develop other diseases also, other problems also. Problem of the kidney, problem of the liver, problem of heart, and problem of brain, and problem of nerves. So that becomes a systemic disease when your whole body is affected, if all systems are affected. Then your utilization of the nutrients, utilization of the you know the micro vitamins, it becomes very difficult. So the overall growth of the body gets affected. Overall maintenance of the body gets affected. So in those cases, when diabetes is uncontrolled. and multiple organs are affected then we develop a severe kind of hair fall that again we call as telogen effluvium so telogen effluvium is not a direct sign symptom of overweight or uh, diabetes but it could be one of the sequelae of uncontrolled diabetes Un- uncontrolled diabetes uncontrolled diabetes or overweight so here if your diabetes is controlled by med- right kind of medication exercises gradually gradually other parameters of the body like the liver kidney all the rest of the blood parameters they become better and so also the hair becomes better so there is remotely there will be uh, a requirement of doing hair transplantation in case of a diabetes induced hair loss mostly it will be controlled by medications